This is a Caddo P42 in Amtrak's Phase 3 Pepsi Can paint scheme. This is a heritage unit marking 50 years of Amtrak operation, starting in 1971. Starting from the front, on the top here we have these PTC antennae, then we have two windows with a visible cab interior, then we have this Amtrak logo, which is black with the white around it, which I think looks pretty nice. Then we have two headlights here, which are kind of hard to see because they're so far into the locomotive. Then we have these two hatches here, which I'm not exactly sure what they're for. Then down here, we have these two red indicator lights, which do not work. Then further down, we have these two blue dots, which I'm not sure if those are headlights or not, but we'll see. Then all the way at the bottom, we have these receptacles that are blue, which I really like for the MU hoses. Then going all the way to the bottom, we have this typical Caddo coupler and a plow. Taking a look at the side, starting from the left and going to the right, we have this cab window here with a somewhat visible cab interior, followed by this little American flag, and the number 160, the door here to the cab, these two really nicely detailed handrails to help you get up, and down here it says Beach Grove, which is where the locomotive was painted. These trucks look pretty nice, you can see a lot of the detail on them, I'm not going to go too in depth, but they look pretty nice. Then over here we have these grills, which once again look nice, but I'm not exactly sure what they're for, so I'm not going to talk about them. Then we have this Amdrak logo here, just as these go up, this looks really nice. Then all the way at the back we have this logo for Amtrak's 50th anniversary. Underneath it there are two grills, and then this cab door with the same handrails on the front. Lastly on the back we have these two indicator lights again, these two headlights but on the back, two sand filler hatches to fill the locomotive with sand for traction, a door at the back, and this small little Amtrak logo. Then there are a bunch of these very small little labels, which I have not read yet. Then down here we have the typical Caddo coupler once again, and some brake and MU hose receptacles, and a few lines. The top of this locomotive is on a very similar level with the detailing as the rest of the locomotive. Over here we have a fan, this exhaust pipe system, then this typical Amtrak K5 LA air horn, and then a bunch of different sections on the roof, which once again I'm not exactly sure what they do, but they look good. Then lastly, as with most current Caddo models, there is not much detail on the bottom, if any. I bought this locomotive listed as untested, so this will be its first run. Well, that's... Oh! Okay. That was weird. So right now it's at 50%. 55, 60. And now it's at full. Okay, that's weird. When I bought this locomotive, I was kind of hoping it was DCC. And the way that it's running where it just stops moving is somewhat consistent with running a DCC locomotive on DC trackage. So hopefully that's what this is and it isn't an issue. Now I can't say the standard procedure here is to open up locomotives the second I get them, but I just want to see if this locomotive is DCC. Best way to find out is you just take off the shell. So the best, usually it can just slide off, but just for speed's sake, I'm just going to put in two screwdrivers. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this, admittedly. 
That's good. Well, that is not good. This is a DC model, so I don't know why it's being weird. This looks a little weird, but the best way to see what's going on with the locomotive is to take off the shell and test it on the track. Seems like it's working fine. Bring it up to full speed. Stopping it and switching directions. Yeah, it looks fine. Hmm, that's weird.